In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of taking your template that you created in the previous video. This is the sample block, which is what you will be given um, to start working with. This is the balsa block. And take your design and put it on this block. Cut it out to the shapes that you want. So taking a look at my sample that I have posted on the Tech Google site, you will see that this is what I want to show up on that drawing. So in order to take this drawing and insert that into Inventor, we need to go through and create a series of sketches and then ultimately create those sketches and turn them into cutout part, uh, pieces or parts known as extrusions. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is take a look at this sketch and see what I need to do. This is a catamaran, so I'm going to have to create two holes at the bottom in a later step. But for now, let's just focus on the top view. So the top view is this one right here. I'm looking at 230 millimeters in total length. And then I'm also looking at the total width, which is 72. So it looks like I'm not going to have to cut anything off the width of the boat, and that's the beam. So 72, 72 is perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and start with a 230. I'm going to make a measurement going to 230, and then I'm going to trace down to this side right here, which is going to give us a distance of 60, which I can see right here, and then 36 coming in from, coming in from the back. Okay, So let's go over and take a look at that in Inventor and get started. So now that I am in Inventor, I want to make sure that I am in sketch mode and I'm working on the top view. So this right here is the top view that's like looking down on the top of the boat. That's where the deck of the boat would be. And that's where I want to start my first sketch. That's my first work plane. So that is going to be on our X and Z axis in this case, if I look at my origin. Okay, and Y would be the extrusion for the total height of the boat. So let's go ahead and start the 2D sketch by clicking on the 2D sketch option at the top of the screen in your ribbon here your 3D model ribbon. Click on the surface and it, you notice that it reoriented the screen. So let's come up to this viewing cube. There's some arrows here that will help us reposition this back to where we want it to be. Using the wheel the mouse is going to give us the easy option of zooming in and zooming out. Zoom it into plain view or maybe it's too short, too far away or too, far, too close. Use the, um, the tool right here, the zoom all and that'll bring you right back into plain view. So let's go ahead and create a center line or a mirror line which will ultimately be used later after I create one side or one half of the top view because later on we can actually mirror that to the opposite side. So let's go ahead and select the line tool. The keyboard shortcut for the line is just hitting the L on the keyboard. Then come over here to the center line tool and that way the line weight is now going to be set up instead of just a object line we are now seeing the dashed line but it's a little bit different from a hidden line it's indicating a center line so this is the center of the block from point here this midpoint on the green circle to this green midpoint here okay let's turn off the center line now let's go ahead and figure out how far back we want to go okay we need to figure out how far back we want to go so I want to go a total distance of 230. So I'll take the line tool, measure over, and type out 230. There's 230. Okay. Now it wants me to draw another line, and I could go straight down to the midpoint, or the center line in this case. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw another line here to here, figure out what the dimension of that one should be. And I can delete this dimension here, delete that line, and now I have what's left is just this line right here. And it still wants to give me that other line so I can delete that one too. So we have this right here and now let's create an arc from this point to this point so that'll give us the front. So as you can see I'm gonna go from here to here, give us that front using the arc tool. Alright, so arc click first point second point and then figure out how far you want to go in it looks good to me okay now I can go ahead and erase some other lines here let's get rid of this line so click and delete okay and then let's go ahead and get rid of this line too because we're now going to work in the back to go to the back now 
let's take a look at what we have. We're going to go back 36 and then over 24. So let's go ahead and go 36. Measure that distance now. Hit escape to measure the distance right here at dimension. So 36. Okay, and then 24. Measure this one out. 24. And then for here, depending on what my drawing has, I can curve that or do a straight line. We'll go with an arc. Three point arc. There we go. So from here now, it's time to uh, create the cookie cutter shapes using a line tool. So come out, over, and around. I'm basically connecting these, um, these curves, these arcs, into a shape that can be cut out of the, or of the boat. Okay. Now let's go ahead and mirror. So we go to the mirror tool, mirror line, click on the mirror line and then highlight the parts that I want to mirror to the other side. So I'm selecting each of these green lines, turning them blue, hitting apply, and everything is now mirrored and constrained to the opposite side. Hit done, finish the sketch, then let's go ahead and extrude. We're going to extrude these areas right here. So I'm going to click on these areas. As you can see, move this dialog box over. You have two dialog boxes here. This is the one that always shows up in the older versions of Inventor, and this is a newer one. You can use either one. It's okay. Now let's go ahead and go to Cut. We want to cut a certain distance going all the way through the boat. It's all and hit OK. So now you are left with just the cut out area of the boat. So let's go to the front view now. Zoom in. And let's go and start our side view. So I'm going to hit the sketch mode, 2D sketch mode, start on the side view. And let's create that. Now I want to show you one thing. You notice that the 2D work panel, this sketch, is only on top of this face. It's not going to show up on these lines right here that are curving in, or these lines right here that are curving in. So I'm going to need to go and click on Project Geometry up here at the top. Click on that surface. That way I have those, that, those parts of the geometry um, projected onto that surface. Hit front view, let's zoom in, and now let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do for the side view. The side view says that we're going to go straight down 36, we're going to go back 36 and go back 60. Okay, so easy enough, all I need to do here is go across the 36, or it, need, it can clo be close enough. Two point arc here. There's where I want that to be too. Grab my line tool, create the cookie cutter shape. Escape to get out of that line. Do another one right here. Finish the sketch. Rotate it. And then let's go ahead and do an extrude. We're going to extrude this surface here. Oh, we made a mistake. Let's zoom in. We're going to extrude the surface right here, as you can see on this surface right here. Cut, going all the way through. So I'm going to move this over. We're going to go all the way through, direction two. So you see my arrow going all the way through, cutting, hit OK. So we're at this point, we now have the top and the side view created. And we're now ready to move to the back. The back is going to be a little bit trickier now since I don't have a flat surface to work with. So I will need to go ahead and create a work plane. Okay, to create the work plane, I am going to then uh, go in and the plane right here, click on work plane, click on this endpoint here, this endpoint right here, and this one right here. That'll give us a flat surface to work from. Go ahead and start a sketch on that flat surface. And then hit F7 on the keyboard to slice the graphics so that you are now in just the back of the boat. Use the project geometry, click on these edges that we need, click on the bottom. And we're now ready to draw out what we have left, which is the front or slash rear view of our catamaran, sh catamaran shape. So create our center line using line tool in the center line option. Find the midpoint, trace down to the other midpoint, turn the center line option off, or go ahead at this time, do another line, center line, 
here to here. And for some reason that one turned off. That needs to be a center line. Okay. And I'm going to come down 12 over. Coming over 12. And if I wanted this center line there, that would work, but actually I'm going to delete that one. And go ahead. And measure down, connect, create an arc from here to the midpoint of this new line that should be there, or wherever. Let's go right there and do another arc, three-point arc right here that runs in line. There you go. And let's hit escape, delete this line right here. And let's go ahead and create our cookie cutter shape. All the way around. Back to here. And then up. Use the mirror tool. Mirror line. Select the mirror line. And all other sides that need to be mirrored for the catamaran shape. The geometry has been selected. Hit apply. Hit done. Finish the sketch. Let's try to extrude it. Okay, there's one section, there's the other section. Okay, let's see if we got everything. Plan it out. All right, now we have everything selected, you see. And let's rotate it again. We're going to cut in both directions, so we're going to go in both directions. Symmetric. Go all the way through. Distance all. We're cutting all the way through. And then hit OK. And it's now created. You can turn off the work plane simply by going and right clicking on work plane and turn the visibility off. So now you have your finished catamaran if that is something that you were trying to do. A simple catamaran design. And uh, the only other thing that you could possibly do is add fillets to some of the sides. Maybe you want to put a fillet here and here. Okay, see if these will work for you. Seems like two millimeters would be fine. Let's try maybe more. Six millimeters. Maybe a little bit more than that. Let's try eight. 8 millimeters would work. Hit the check mark. Hit OK. This all can be done here as well. Check mark. And there's the front of your boat. It's rounded now. Back is everything that you need. And it's your finished design up to this point. So you now have your boat completed um, if you are designing a catamaran. Remember that you this design does not have to be exactly the same as uh, your own. Okay, Your design is your own unique design. That is it.